Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode, we're going to be calibrating our accelerometer. Now, those of you which have used Clean Flight or Beta Flight before, this process is different in iNav. I need to make that uh, statement very, very early on because I made this mistake a long time ago, and the sensor calibration process is very, very different in iNav. Now, you may be wondering, Matt, what you're talking about, and this is where the wiki comes into play, uh, because I can never remember the exact steps, so we're going to look over here on the desktop, so uh, I'll put a link to this page in the video description for you, and of course you can find the details over on GitHub, click on the wiki tab, and then on the right hand side, click on sensor calibration. Now, INAV requires you to go through uh, a collection of steps which we've got up here on the screen is to place our flight controller in a collection of different positions so that it knows which way is up, right, left and upside down. You, you know what I mean, you, we can see here on the picture. Now to, it's vitally important that we do follow these steps through because INAV will not work for you unless you've been in calibrated your board. So with that said, that's what we're gonna do in this part of the iNav series, and it's really straightforward to do. So you'll see on the screen, we need to go through and we need to put our flight controller board in a couple of, well, in six different positions. We need it flat, we need it upside down, we need it pointing to the right, we need it pointing up to the left, and then we need it pointing down. But which way is up and which way is down on your flight controller board? That's a really good question, probably the best place for us to start. So on the screen behind you, I've been and got my flight controller board, and this is a V2. Now, depending upon your flight controller board, is that hopefully they all come with an arrow. So you'll see that there's an arrow on top of this board, and that indicates the front of the board. So typically with all these flight controller boards uh, is that the PWM output, so the, these pins here, which go on to like say our S-Bus or our servos, they're typically always the front of the board. But do if you've not got a V2 board or a uh, F4 V2 or an F4 V1 board, uh, then do check where you bought your uh, board from and they'll be able to tell you which way is forwards. Uh, but do look out for an arrow pointing in the direction of the board on here. Now, if you're still not sure, is that if you connect your board up to iNav, so let's go and plug that one in and wait for it to connect. So let's get iNav up on the screen. Now, assuming that you've not done any funkiness with your board orientation, uh, and you know what I'm talking about if you've been and done that, is that if you look on the screen and we can see there's the back and we point the front down uh, and then we're looking at the back and of course if we turn that round we can see the front coming up and we can see the move that right the way round there we go we see the front going down and then coming back up there we go right so how do we calibrate our board dead dead easy and remember all the answers which you need are actually in the wiki so uh, i need to cheat so i'm just going to go and grab that wiki tab and put it onto one side uh, and the button well how do you know? That's the other question which you must be wondering. How do I know if my board's been calibrated or not? Well, the simple answer is that on the right-hand side of the uh, iNav configurator, it says accelerate accelerometer calibrated, and then we've got a cross next to it. Well, that kind of tells us that it's not uh, being calibrated. Now, this isn't like clean flight where we just press the calibrate accelerometer and hold the board still. Uh, we need to do that several times with iNav. So let's go and get started. Uh, so we need to hold the board level. Uh, so that looks like level now. And again, it's a bit awkward because I'm looking at you on the screen and trying to hold the board down there. So we're going to hold it still in a, a level position and we're going to click on calibrate accelerometer. Brilliant. Now we're going to turn the board upside down and it doesn't matter which way around it is upside down, as long as it's upside down and being held still. So I'm going to click on calibrate accelerometer. Fantastic. Uh, now we need to point into the right, so we need the arrow points into the right, so there we go. And you'll notice I'm just holding it in my hand, and it's roughly in the right direction of pointing to the right. And now we need to point it north, so I'm just going to hold that there, I'm just holding it vertically. And then we're going to point it to the left, maybe slightly easier this time. Calibrate accelerometer. Brilliant, and now we need to point the board going downwards. So I'm just going to use those pin headers uh, as a reference. I'm just going to hold that down like so. 
fantastic. Uh, and you'll see now at the top, it says accelerometer calibration finished. Now, if you're in doubt whether this has been done or not, you will number one, you'll see on the right hand side, it says now it says accelerometer calibrated and we have a green tick, happy days. Now, the one thing which I always like to do, and I strongly suggest that you do this as well, is that if you click on the CLI tab down on the bottom left hand corner and then type in get, so G-E-T -E space, and then ACC gain. Okay, and this is documented in the wiki, but I just do it this way. So get ACC gain. And then crucially, you'll see here for ACC gain X, it's 4076, and then we got 4093, and then 4009. That's happy days. If they all said 4096, which is the default, we know that the calibration was not successful. Okay, and I always do this on my boards. I've had one or two boards which didn't calibrate properly until the second time around. Again, it might have been my fault because I wasn't looking at the wiki and putting them in the right order. Okay, so let me just get this back on the screen for you. Uh, to calibrate the accelerometer is a very, very simple process. We just press that button at the top, but we need, uh, unlike clean flight and beta flight, we need to put the board in a specific set or specific range of orientation. So we need it the right way up, upside down, pointing to the right, pointing up, pointing to the left, and then pointing down. And each time we put the board in those positions, we press the calibrate accelerometer. Now you will notice, as we saw on the camera just a few moments ago, is that uh, it's roughly in the right direction. Okay, so don't panic if you can't get it in exactly like vertical uh, position because you've maybe got the, like me, with the USB cable in the way, which makes it very, very awkward as long as it's being held as still as possible, that will do. Now, I can already see a question come in before I go, which is, Matt, do I have to calibrate the accelerometer? Matt, can I uh, calibrate the accelerometer in a model? Well, the honest answer is, it's a lot easier if you do it on your desk, okay? Number two, the, and of course the answer is, yes, you do need to calibrate your accelerometer, uh, and, if you do calibrate it while it's in a model, just be aware that you need to make sure that your the, the board is vertical, okay? Uh, and it's on its side and things like that. So it's normally a lot easier to do it on the desk. Also, for those of you which have been and changed the orientation of your board, you still need to do it in this pattern based upon the arrow on the board, not based upon the uh, twisted orientation of the board. Now, those of you which should know what I'm talking about here uh, is that you can change the orientation of the board. So maybe you've put it on a slight angle or you've turned your board round 90 degrees. You can set that in the iNav configurator. When you go, if you have done that with your board, uh, and by the way, if you've got no idea what I'm talking about, ignore me here but if you have changed the orientation of the board maybe you've turned it around 90 degrees or maybe 180 degrees you ignore that and you calibrate it still again according to the arrow on your board itself there's a specific note there in the wiki about that so that's it from myself matt that's how you calibrate your board uh, or calibrate your accelerometer uh, in inav and like i said th th if those of you which have used clean flight and beta flight before the process was very, very different, and it's one of those steps which you cannot skip. So, from myself, Matt, I'll see you in the next part of this series. Cheerios!